Global IP Trust, Presence The Large Hadron Collider Stephen Hawking once said, there is no limit, to human endeavor. These words are probably one of the best statements, ever to have originated from a scientist. Clearly, there seems to be no limits to our undying desire, to explore the universe and its unending mysteries. This desire has shaped the entire face of scientific research. We do the most extraordinary things, to unravel the darkest mysteries of the universe, from its beginning, to its possible end. A huge part of the achievements we have today, are possible due to the incredible machines we create, to help us understand the working of the universe. From the simple telescope, to the biggest rockets, we have built remarkable machines, that operate for the sole purpose of our desire, to explore the universe. One such very extraordinary machine, is the Large Hadron Collider, at CERN. Now, CERN is short for, the, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It is a European research organization, that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. Established in 1954, the organization is based in a northwest suburb of Geneva, on the Franco-Swiss border, and has 23 member states. Israel is the only non-European country granted full membership. CERN is an official United Nations observer. CERN's main function is to provide the particle accelerators and other infrastructure, needed for high-energy physics research. As a result, numerous experiments have been constructed at CERN, through international collaborations. The main site at Marin, hosts a large computing facility, which is primarily used to store and analyze data from experiments, as well as simulate events. Researchers need remote access to these facilities, so the lab has historically been a major wide area network hub. CERN is also the birthplace, of the World Wide Web. But the facility itself isn't the main attraction. The heart of the facility, is buried more than a 100 meters below the main facility. The Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider, and the largest machine in the world. It was built by CERN between 1998 and 2008, in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists, and hundreds of universities and laboratories, as well as more than 100 countries. It lies in a tunnel, 27 kilometers in circumference, and as deep as 175 meters, beneath the France-Switzerland border, near Geneva. The term hadron, refers to subatomic composite particles composed of quarks, held together by the strong force. The best known hadrons are the baryons, such as protons and neutrons, hadrons also include mesons, such as the pion and kaon, which were discovered during cosmic ray experiments, in the late 1940s, and early 1950s. The collider is contained in a circular tunnel, with a circumference of 26.7 kilometers, at a depth ranging from 50 to 175 meters underground. A tunnel was chosen, to take advantage of the shielding against background radiation, that the Earth's crust provides. The 3.8 meter wide concrete line tunnel, constructed between 1983 and 1988, was formerly used to house the Large Electron-Positron Collider. The Collider Tunnel contains two adjacent parallel beam lines, or beam pipes, each containing a beam, which travel in opposite directions around the ring. The beams intersect at four points around the ring, which is where the particle collisions take place. Some 1,232 dipole magnets keep the beams on their circular path, while an additional 392 quadrupole magnets, are used to keep the beams focused, with stronger quadrupole magnets close to the intersection points, in order to maximize the chances of interaction, where the two beams cross. In total, about 10,000 superconducting magnets are installed, with the dipole magnets having a mass of over 27 tons. Approximately 96 tons of superfluid helium-4 is needed to keep the magnets, made of copper-clad niobium-titanium, at their operating temperature of 1.9 Kelvin, or negative 271.25 degrees Celsius, making the LHC the largest cryogenic facility in the world, 
at liquid helium temperature. LHC uses 470 tons of niobium titanium superconductor. During LHC operations, the CERN site draws roughly 200 megawatts of electrical power from the French electrical grid, which, for comparison, is about one-third the energy consumption of the city of Geneva, the LHC accelerator and detectors draw about 120 megawatts thereof. Each day of its operation generates 140 terabytes of data. Seven detectors have been constructed at the LHC, located underground in large caverns, excavated at the LHC's intersection points. Two of them, the Atlas Experiment and the Compact Muon Solenoid, are large general-purpose particle detectors. ALICE and LHCB have more specific roles, and the last three, TOTEM, MOETL, and LHCF, are very much smaller, and are for very specialized research. The ATLAS and CMS experiments discovered the Higgs boson, which is strong evidence that the standard model has the correct mechanism of giving mass to elementary particles. The LHC computing grid was constructed as part of the LHC design to handle the massive amounts of data expected for its collisions. It is an international collaborative project that consists of a grid-based computer network infrastructure initially connecting 140 computing centers in 35 countries. Data produced by LHC, as well as LHC-related simulation, were estimated at approximately 15 petabytes per year. With a budget of 7.5 billion euros, approximately 9 billion dollars, the LHC is one of the most expensive scientific instruments ever built. The first beam was circulated through the collider on the morning of September 10, 2008. CERN successfully fired the protons around the tunnel in stages, three kilometers at a time. The particles were fired in a clockwise direction into the accelerator and successfully steered around it at 10.28 local time. The LHC successfully completed its major test after a series of trial runs Two white dots flashed on a computer screen, showing the protons traveled the full length of the collider. An initial focus of research was to investigate the possible existence of the Higgs boson, a key part of the standard model of physics which is predicted by theory, but had not yet been observed before, due to its high mass and elusive nature. CERN scientists estimated that, if the standard model were correct, the LHC would produce several Higgs bosons every minute, allowing physicists to finally confirm or disprove the Higgs boson's existence. On July 4, 2012, both the CMS and ATLAS teams announced the discovery of a boson in the mass region around 125 to 126 giga electron volts with a statistical significance at the level of 5 sigma each. This meets the formal level required to announce a new particle. The observed properties were consistent with the Higgs boson but scientists were cautious as to whether it is formally identified as actually being the Higgs boson, pending further analysis. On March 14, 2013, CERN announced confirmation that the observed particle was indeed the predicted Higgs boson. As of March 2021, the LHC experiments have discovered 59 new hadrons in the data collected during the first two runs. Many physicists hope that the Large Hadron Collider will help answer some of the fundamental open questions in physics, which concern the basic laws, governing the interactions and forces among the elementary objects, the deep structure of space and time, and in particular, the interrelation between quantum mechanics and general relativity. Data are also needed from high-energy particle experiments to suggest which versions of current scientific models are more likely to be correct, in particular, to choose between the standard model and Higgsless model, and to validate their predictions and allow further theoretical development. Both CERN and its Large Hadron Collider are triumphs of human ingenuity and determination. There is no doubt that, in the future, there will be even more massive machines that help us explore the universe even further. These machines will help us reach the pinnacle of scientific research and will prove to be a testimony for the thousands of scientists that work day and night, for the advancement of humankind. For more information on CERN and LHC, visit home.cern.